Are you new to hacking and wondering where to start? If you've come across platforms like Hack the Box and Try Hack Me, you might be asking yourself, which one is better for beginners? Today, we're diving deep into both platforms, comparing their strengths, and guiding you to make the best choice for your learning journey. Hi, I'm Josh, and this channel is dedicated to helping you become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro. Fast! Let's start by understanding the problem. Information overload. The older generation of hacking professionals faced a lack of resources, but today we have the opposite problem, too much information. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by the endless options. This leads to one of the most common beginner questions. Should I start with try hack me or hack the box? First, let's break this down with an example. Meet Naruto. Naruto is a beginner who wants to become a penetration tester. He dreams of doing red teaming and hacking into systems like a pro. But Naruto is stuck. He doesn't know whether to start with Try Hack Me or Hack the Box. If this sounds like you, let's explore what each platform offers and how to approach them strategically. Hey, sorry for interrupting your video, but I wanted to know, are you interested in building a career in ethical hacking? We created Learn Ethical Hacking from Scratch course just for you, and it's the perfect way to get started. In this course, you will learn how ethical hackers find vulnerabilities in your system, networks, and applications. You will learn hands-on skills like penetration testing, exploiting the weakness in a system, and all the tools that hackers use. You will also learn how to stay on the right side of the law. Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing industries in the world and hackers are high in demand. The global cybersecurity market is expected to reach $400 billion by 2028. There has never been a better time for you to jump in. Ethical hackers and from 90,000 US dollars to 120,000 US dollars annually. Experts in this field make even more. So are you ready to kickstart your journey into ethical hacking? This course is your key to mastering hacking. We have placed the link to this course in the description. Enroll today and get started on a lucrative career path. Now back to the video. Starting with Try Hack Me is the best choice for beginners. Why? Try Hack Me focuses on foundational skills. It offers structured learning paths, step-by-step -step guidance, and beginner-friendly challenges. As of now, there are eight learning paths, covering topics like ethical hacking, Linux basics, scripting, and even cyber defense. Completing these paths helps you build a strong base in cybersecurity. For Naruto, this means starting with the fundamentals, even if his goal is offensive security. Knowing how to defend systems makes him a better hacker in the long run. After completing the learning paths, Naruto can explore Try Hack Me's modules to dive deeper into topics like scripting or Linux exploitation, tailoring his learning to his interests. Next, transitioning to Hack the Box for advanced challenges. Once Naruto has built his foundation, he's ready for Hack the Box. This platform is designed for those who want to test their skills on tougher, real-world-like scenarios. But be warned, Hack the Box can be intimidating for beginners. Machines often require specific knowledge, and solutions aren't as straightforward as on Try Hack Me. When starting Hack the Box, Naruto might struggle, but that's normal. Hacking is an experience-based skill. The more machines you attempt, the better you become. Hack the Box's retired machines with write-ups and video walkthroughs are a great starting point. So, why not start with Hack the Box immediately? Hack the Box is ideal for refining skills and preparing for certifications like the OSCP. However, jumping straight into Hack the Box without foundational knowledge can be overwhelming. If you're still figuring out concepts like networking, scripting, or Linux basics, it's better to stick with Try Hack Me first. The transition. When to move from Try Hack Me to Hack the Box. 
Once you've completed the learning paths and modules on TryHackMe, you'll likely have a good sense of what you enjoy, whether it's web exploitation, scripting, or reverse engineering. This is the point where Hack the Box becomes valuable. Use it to specialize, challenge yourself, and prepare for certifications or advanced competitions. Let's talk about the communities and support available on each platform. Learning cybersecurity can sometimes feel isolating, but both Try Hack Me and Hack the Box have vibrant communities to help you along the way. Try Hack Me has a supportive and beginner-friendly community. Their Discord server, forums, and room discussions are filled with learners at various stages, so it's easy to ask questions and get help. This is perfect for someone like Naruto, who might feel stuck and need guidance while starting out. Hack the Box, on the other hand, caters more to experienced users. The discussions and forums often dive into technical details, which can be intimidating for a beginner. However, once you're ready for advanced challenges, the community becomes an incredible resource for learning niche techniques and strategies. Being active in these communities not only helps you learn faster, but also builds your network within the hacking field. A crucial step for career growth. Who should choose what? If you're just starting, stick with Try Hack Me. Its beginner-friendly approach ensures you don't get lost in technical hurdles. If you're preparing for certifications like OSCP or want to compete in CTFs, Hack the Box is the better choice. My final advice, focus and build a strong foundation. Jumping between platforms without a plan can slow your progress. Start with Try Hack Me, master the basics, and then transition to Hack the Box when you're ready for more challenging scenarios. By focusing on one area at a time, you'll become a skilled cybersecurity professional faster. What's next? Your cybersecurity journey continues here. If you're preparing for the OSCP, Hack the Box can be your training ground. If you're exploring penetration testing certifications like PMPT, Try Hack Me offers excellent resources. Regardless of where you are in your journey, keep learning, stay curious, and don't get overwhelmed. I hope this video answered your questions. If you found it helpful, like and subscribe for more content on cybersecurity, ethical hacking, and career tips. Stay safe, stay focused, and I'll see you in the next one. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.